welcome to Prudent Media News. First to look at the headlines. Former Mines and Geology Director Anders Scanner, CM directs ACB to file criminal complaint, lashes out Congress over a job scam. Factories and ballers give clean sheet to Cesar Goa, inspect burners at site, says there is no violation. Navelka's plan for a public meeting. Supreme Court upholds Kasab's death sentence. Convicted for waging war against India, Kasab may file clemency plea. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar declares sports career jobs on National Sports Day. Former India footballer Samir Naik receives Dilip Sardesai Sports Excellence Award. And Dilip Sardesai awardee Samir Naik feels he deserves every bit of Sports Excellence Award. Former India defender to retire from Dempo Sports Club in two to three years. And now the news in detail. Former Mines and Geology Director is under scanner for alleged involvement in job scam. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar has directed Anti-Corruption Bureau to file a criminal complaint against the former director. Preliminary report of the ACB in the offer letters case has cited irregularities. FIR will be lodged against suspects within 15 days in this case. Government's ambitious price rise allowance scheme will be enforced by first week of October. यो ऑफर इज और प्रोसिजर आन जाले आसर जाले आमी तरी कंसिडर करते ले असले टुडे आई हैव डायरेक्टेड एंटी करप्शन ब्रांच टू फाइल क्रिमिनल कंप्लेंट्स अगेंस्ट एक्स डायरेक्टर ऑफ माइंस मिस्टर अरविंद लोलेकार अलोंग विथ अननोन सुपीरियर सुपीरियर्स एंड अननोन जूनियर्स ऑफिसर्स who have colluded and committed criminal conspiracy to do irregularity in this department. This is done after a preliminary report of anti-corruption as indicated clear manipulation. Parikar has challenged Congress party over job scam in various departments. Sarkari no crane path or gala path or son of Spasta Arup Karta, Java Java Sagra departmentani, Atenta Brastachari Margan, manipulation Gurun, no crane Burgayatla. I told, I made it clear, and I'm making it clear again. If Congress wants full investigation into that, I am ready to hand it over to any type of investigation agency. सुभाष शिरोडकर असत किंवा अलेक्स रेजिनाल्ड असत तांच्यानी मला एक पत्र दिवचे हाव पूर्ण इन्व्हेस्टिगेशन करता सीएम सेज कांग्रेस वांट्स टू टेक द क्रेडिट ऑफ रेगुलराइजेशन स्टफ अंडर द प्री एम्प्लॉयमेंट ट्रेनिंग स्कीम कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट हैड डिसाइडेड टू थ्रो देम आउट इन स्पाइट ऑफ फॅक्ट दॅट दे वर एम्प्लॉयड मच अर्लियर अँड वेर इन सर्व्हिस अँड टुडे इफ दे हॅव बीन रेगुलराइज ऑन सुपर न्युमररी पोस्ट it is not because government wanted the high court order is very clear interim order is the high court has stayed any action of dismissing them and number 2 high court has said that all promotions of ldcs will depend on the outcome of this case a reporter from panji mahesh ghadi with video journalist devendra kaukar 
The chief inspector of factories and boilers has given a clean chit to Sesa Goa's Navili plant following inspections of the burners. Chief Inspector Sadashiv Paranjpe says he has inspected the site where the misfiring of furnaces occurred. The report will be submitted to the State Pollution Control Board. The board had asked the chief inspector of factories and boilers to submit the report within seven days. Meanwhile, Navilkas are planning a public meeting on Thursday to plan their next action. 48 hours deadline set by the State Pollution Control Board for plants closure ended on Wednesday evening. The Goa State Pollution Control Board had asked the Chief Inspector of Factories and Boilers to conduct an inquiry into the Cesar Goa incident. Taking cognizance of this notice, the Inspector of Factories and Boilers conducted a survey on the site on Wednesday. This is what the Inspector had to say. Primary investigation and survey indicates no violation at the site. The release of black soot from the factory was an eventuality and is rare in occurrence. Other than the unit which misfired, all other units are functioning as before. As my jurisdiction is concerning pollution and factory inspection, my job is over. I will submit the report to the State Pollution Control Board. Now after 48 hours of unit stoppage notice, here is what the GSPCB chairman has to say. I don't know whether plant has been closed, but as per the notice, it has to be closed. I haven't received clarification whatsoever from Cesar Goa over alleged violation, and I need not react to any of the say of Cesar Goa published in news dailies on Wednesday. Meanwhile, sources in village claim that the plant is functioning despite Pollution Control Board's closure notice. Cesar Goa has admitted that there was misfiring of two burners on August 17 and 18 at the plant and it caused pollution. However, company says the burners were immediately set right. With the Navelkas planning a public meeting on Thursday to plan further plan of action, it would be interesting to watch further action by the State Pollution Control Board. A reporter from Panji, Pratik Parab. The Supreme Court has upheld that sentence given to Kassab. Kassab will be hanged till death. The Supreme Court on Wednesday pronounced its verdict in 26-11 Mumbai terror attack case. 166 people were killed in the massacre. Kassab is charged with waging war against the nation. Supreme Court had earlier stated Kassab's death sentence in October 2011. Kassab might knock the doors of President with his clemency plea. आज सर्वोच्च न्यायालय ने एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय दिया है जहां पे जो अपील प्रस्तुत किया गया था मोहम्मद कसब से उस अपील को निरस्त किया है और उस निर्णय में बहुत सारे संविधानिक जो महत्वपूर्ण तत्व हैं वो आपको प्रदर्शित होंगे देश was a case which was argued completely in a professional manner and uh, very much like certain other cases where cases have been argued in a totally professional and dispassionate atmosphere we have been able to have a judgment which deals with not only the evidentiary aspects of this case or the crime but also deals with important constitutional and legal issues so for me I would say I respectfully bow down to the verdict and I would say it is a complete victory of the due process and as a practicing lawyer I think India must feel proud that in its democracy we give every accused an opportunity to present his case. The court does not allow an accused to be convicted unless he is properly represented and his contentions are heard objectively in a spirit of calm. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.